What is going on to YouTube, Lamont at large? Today, we are at the Mount Holiness Cemetery here in Butler, New Jersey, and I got a really weird story to share with you guys. Now, on my channel, I don't do a lot of sensationalized videos. I'm not trying to do a lot of clickbait. You know, I know it works sometimes to get people to click on a video, but a video like this, Sometimes I just don't know whether to post it or not. So I like to start off with having an open dialogue and an open discussion in the comment section below. So the story goes as follows. Back on July 30th of 2017, an 85-year-old man named Cleveland Butler died of a stroke. So his family brought him here to the Mount Holiness Cemetery uh, for the funeral. So the funeral was sometime in August of that year. Now, while they were having the funeral, they lowered his coffin into the ground and one of the family members said, oh, what? Like, they said a human leg fell on top of his blue casket from the other grave below, uh, excuse me, next to him. And so, I'm watching this story on YouTube because they were on the news on some uh, New York affiliate uh, TV station. And in the video, which has well over 3 million views, the family is quite upset when they're speaking about what happened. Now, I see this story last year and I was going to do the video, but something bothered me about it. And looking at the picture, the picture looks really fake. And it was like thinking to myself, this can't be real now there was a person who works at the cemetery he might have just pulled in as i was filming so hopefully he doesn't come in here and ask me what i'm doing but uh in that article he said that not everybody that's buried out here uh, has a concrete vault sometimes the cough the cough is just put right in the ground and as you can see some of the well if you can't see i'm going to tell you some of the land here is quite uneven so you can tell that you know, coffins have been destroyed from all of the weight of the earth crushing from above. Now, on this article, there's a man who's standing right by this flagpole. As you can see in that picture, he's standing where it's kind of like an uphill going over here, as you can see it. Because I was trying to find this guy's grave, and I had no luck. So, the man standing right there in that picture was standing next to that flagpole. He's pointing right over here. Now, I was walking around here, and I can't find anything. Now, there was an article that said that the grave that was next to his was a person that died in 1969. Now, as you can tell right here, there has been a collapse. Now, I do not see a marker with the name of Cleveland Butler. So I'm looking for, you know, graves just right in this general area of somebody that died in 1969. And this is the only one that I can see is uh right here is uh wilhelmina taylor and richard taylor uh might have been her son or her grandson so they both died in 1969 as you can see and the guy did say in the article that the grave whose leg it belonged to that is the year they died now i don't see mr uh mr cleveland's um grave anywhere I don't see a name marker with his name on it, but again, showing that picture, the guy that was pointing to the ground was standing right by this flagpole and he was pointing right here. Now here's another part of the, uh, the whole thing that bothers me is like the picture looks fake. I mean, if you look really close at it, it looks like some kind of uh, Photoshop deal. And I don't know nothing about uh, web design or anything like that, but Scarlett told me that something along the shadowing of the foot doesn't match up with the picture. And if you see that white, you can see like the white, uh, it looks like a piece of cloth or something sticking out of the foot. It looks super like, almost like crisp. Like it's not a piece of cloth. It looks like a cloth that they sprayed so much starch on it. So here's my question. If this story is fake, 
who's behind it? I'm not saying it is fake or it is. I don't know because I would feel weird putting this uh, picture and saying, oh, this really happened at this cemetery. I don't know. The picture looks fake, but the story is on a news channel that the video, which has well over 3 million views, I have absolutely no idea. Um, I don't see uh, uh, the man's grave here. I don't see a name marker. The family may not have gotten one yet, but it's, it definitely happened. If it did happen, it definitely happened in this area right where I'm looking at right now. But... Uh, yeah, I don't know. It is um, it is quite an unusual story to say the least. And you know, most cemeteries nowadays you have to have a concrete, uh, you know, vault to put the coffin in. But sometimes they'll say whatever. You know, if you don't want to use a uh, concrete, uh, you know, tomb, if you will, or or a vault, you don't have to. And there is a Muslim section over there, and I believe Muslims do not use even a coffin. The most, most if not all, are just buried in a some kind of a burial shroud or something like that. So with that being said, I'll leave it to you guys in the comment section below. You tell me if that picture is real or it's fake. I have no idea at all. Again, this is where the man was standing when that picture was taken and he was pointing right over here and I do not see a uh, grave with the name of Cleveland Butler. I do not know. So let me know in the comments below, guys. You tell me what you think. I want to believe the story. I just, the picture looks too fake. I have no idea. Anyways, guys, I got to get going. Let me know what you think. Peace out.